Mornings are f***ing tough. Getting out of bed should be an Olympic sport. It's that hard. But you should want to be the Michael Phelps of rolling out of the hay. Because if you f*** up your sleep, you can f*** up your life. Chronic sleep loss has been linked to heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. It can also impair the thinking and learning processes while contributing to symptoms of depression. Perhaps most frightening is you kill your sex drive and speed up the process of aging. So if you don't want to die and be hot, listen up. Waking up on the right side of the bed, of course, means you have to get a good night's sleep the night before. That means get enough sleep, six to eight hours ideally, sticking to a sleep schedule, and maintaining a comfortable sleep environment. If you're feeling really ballsy about getting some quality shut-eye, and you should be, then cut the caffeine, booze, and screens like TV, and your laptop, well before you go to bed. Don't go to bed hungry, don't go to bed full, and don't go to bed thirsty. While you're sleeping, you can't really do much aside from, well, sleep. So let's skip that part and get right to the good stuff, waking up. First and foremost, set yourself up for success. Have your alarm clock across the room, so you have to get up to turn it off. If you drink coffee, preset it to brew before you wake up. And for the love of everything that is holy, don't hit snooze. Once you're out of bed, have a big ass glass of water. It will get your metabolism revving and flush out toxins. Plus, rehydrate your body. And it's good for your brain. But most important of all, have goals and a plan when you wake up in the morning. Why are you waking up early? To work out? Or maybe grab a coffee? Wake up with the mentality of a champ, not a scrub. Now get cracking, because next time you shut eye, you better shut it down.